Hello everyone. In this video, you will learn how to design load flow analysis in MATLAB simulating software. First, let's go to the MATLAB simulating software. Create a plan model. This is the plus where we can model our circuit. And I will do the load flow analysis of this three bus power system. Bus one is a slug bus. Bus 2 is a PQ bus and bus 3 is a PV bus. In the slack bus, we have a voltage of 1.05 per unit uh, with angle of 0 degree. In PQ bus, uh, we have 190 megawatt active power and 250 MVAR reactive power. And in bus 3, we have a magnitude voltage of 1.04 per unit an active power of 380 megawatt. And here for the line impedance, uh, we have both real and complex values. So now let us move to the MATLAB Simulink. From the library browser, uh, you can add all the required components. Go to the Simscape, click on Power System, uh, Specialized Technology, and then click on fundamental blocks. First add power GUI block to set the simulation time uh, and it is necessary when using the components from fundamental blocks power system. Now from electrical sources uh, add three phase source. From element uh, add three phase series RLC branch uh, for the transmission line. Then add the three phase parallel RLC load uh, to represent the load. Next, go to the measurement and add the three phase VI measurement block from here uh, to create the buses. And also the load flow bus block from here. Okay. Once you're done with adding these components, Arrange your circuit according to this 3 bus power system model. Put the 3 phase voltage source here uh, to make it a slack bus. Then we need to add it to bus 1 uh, and the 3 phase VI measurement can be used as buses. If you don't want to measure the voltage and current, uh, double click it and from the voltage measurement, select no. Uh, similarly, from current measurement, uh, select no. Apply. Uh, okay. Name it as bus 1. Uh, we need two more buses for bus 2 and bus 3. So by holding control key, uh, you will get the new one. So now we have three buses. Next we left with the transmission line. And for that uh, we will use the three phase series RLC branch. We need two more uh, three phase series RLC branch. One for the transmission line between bus one and three uh, and another between bus two, three. We also need a three phase source for PV bus at bus 3. Name it PV and name this one as slack. Double click it. Let us assume that phase to phase voltage is 10 kV and frequency is 60 Hz. Since we are not going to consider the short circuit analysis, uh, so no need to consider the impedance. From the load flow, uh, change the generator type to swing, if it is not, uh, because this is a slack bus. Okay. Next, connect this series RLC branch to bus 1 and 2. Double click it. Change the branch type to RL. 
If you look at the figure, the transmission line values between pass 1 and 2 is uh, 0 0.02 plus J0.04 per unit. Uh, to write it in terms of actual values, first we need to find the base impedance which is equal to Z base uh, equal to V base square over S base. Uh, v base was selected as 10 kV and S base is 100 uh, MV and is equal to 1. And to get the actual values, uh, we need to multiply per unit values by base values. Uh, for actual resistance, R is equal to 0 0.02 uh, multiplied by 1. Uh, 0 0.02 is the per unit value and 1 is the base value. But for the reactants, we cannot write the values directly and we need to convert it into inductants. So L is equal to XL over 2 pi F, uh, which is equal to 0 0.04 multiplied by 1 over 2 pi 60. Next, connect bus 2 load. Press Ctrl R to rotate it. Double click. Nominal phase to phase voltage is 10 kV. Uh, nominal frequency is 6 Hz. Uh, the active power is 190 MW. Uh, and reactive power is 250 MVAR. Give zero for capacitive reactive power. Uh, from the load flow, uh, change the load type to constant PQ. Rotate pass 3, control R. Uh, then flip it. Uh, then do the connection A to A, B to B, uh, and C to C. Uh, similarly, do it for the rest. Now let us assign the values for them. Double click here on the 3 phase series RLC branch between bus 1 and 3. Change the branch type to RL. And the values between bus 1 and 3 is 0 0.01 plus J0.03 per unit. Change it to actual values uh, the same as we did for the transmission line between bus 1 and 2. For the resistance R, uh, 1 multiplied by 0 0.01, 1 is the base value and 0 0.01 is the per unit value. For inductance L, uh, which is equal to uh, XL or 2 pi F, uh, since base value is 1, no need to write because it doesn't affect on overall values. So write 0 0.03 over 2 pi 60. And similarly do for this line. The values are uh, 0 0.0125 plus J 0 0.025 per unit. So here write 0 0.0125. And for inductance, write 0 0.025 over 2 pi 60. And change the branch type to RL. Okay.
then double click here on the three phase source uh, connected to bus 3 this is a PV bus uh, so from the load flow change generator type to and the active power generation is uh, 380 megawatt From parameters, uh, you can change the configuration to Y connection, Y in, or Y G, or Y to ground connection. And I will leave it as it is default setting. Give 10 kV for phase to phase voltage. Uh, phase angle of phase A is 0 degree. Frequency is 60 Hz. Uh, deactivate the internal parameters uh, since you will not calculate the short circuit analysis. Okay. Once you're done with the uh, assigning values, uh, next we need to include the load flow passes uh, to do the calculation of load flow analysis. Uh, connect it after each passes, no matter in which phase you are gonna connect it. Similarly, do that for bus 2 and 3. Double click on bus 1 load flow. Uh, base voltage is 10 kV. And the swing bus or PV bus. Bus voltage is 1.05 per unit. Swing bus voltage angle is 0 degree. OK. Double click on load flow bus number 2. Change bus identification to bus 2. Base voltage is 10 kV uh, and keep the rest as it is default setting. OK. Similarly, do it for bus 3. Base voltage is 10 kV. Swing bus or per unit bus voltage is 1.04 per unit. Okay. Now our circuit is ready to run. First, let us save it. I am going to save it as load flow. Okay. Now we can run our circuit. Yes. Uh, there is no error. Uh, to calculate the load flow, uh, double click on power GUI block. From tools, click on load flow. Uh, these are the values that we are provided and were given already. And the unknown values that you can see here are zero. Because we still didn't compute the load flow. So click here on compute. Yes, now you can see all the unknown values, voltage, angle, uh, active power and reactive power for all the three buses, slack bus, PQ and PV bus. Now let's compare it with the values uh, that I have already found through MATLAB code. Uh, if we consider bus 2, both voltage and angle are the same, 1.54 uh, and 0 0.98. Uh, delta 3 is 3.4 degree uh, for both results. Uh, if we consider the slack bus, active power is uh, minus uh, 175.7 megawatt. And the active power is 257.9 MVAR, uh, which are similar with this result. Also, you can notice the same result for Q3. That is how you can do the load flow calculation with MATLAB Simulink software. Uh, I hope the video was useful and see you in the next video.